And now I'd like to talk about an entirely new category of service. And it's all about the wallet. Our vision is to replace this. And we're going to start by focusing on payments. Payments is a huge business. Every day, between credit and debit, we spend $12 billion. That's over $4 trillion a year, and that's just in the United States. And this business is comprised of over 200 million transactions a day. That's 200 million times that we scramble for our credit cards and go through what is a fairly antiquated payment process. It looks something like this. Can I see some ID, please? Now this, thank you. This whole process is based on this little piece of plastic. And whether it's a credit or a debit card, we're totally reliant on the exposed numbers and the outdated and vulnerable magnetic stripe interface, which by the way is five decades old, and the security codes, which all of us know aren't so secure. It's so easy to lose your card or have it compromised. It's no wonder that people have dreamed of replacing these for years. But they've all failed. The New York Times said it best. A truly mobile wallet has long been described as imminent, but it remains elusive. Most have been a disappointment or have not yet worked well enough for mainstream adoption. Why is this? It's because, as it turns out, most people that have worked on this have started by focusing on creating a business model that was centered around their self-interest instead of focusing on the user experience. We love this kind of problem. This is exactly what Apple does best. And so we've created an entirely new payment process. And we call it Apple Pay. And I'd like to show you just how fast and just how easy it is. I think your total is 2378. That's it. That's it. Maybe, would you like to see it one more time? Just in case you may have blinked and missed it. Here it is. It is so cool. That is Apple Pay, and to tell you more about it, I'd like to invite Eddie Q to the stage. Eddie? Thanks. Thanks, Tim. It's great to be here this morning. Now, Apple Pay is built into every iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, and we've got a groundbreaking NFC radio antenna built across the top. Now, NFC is the standard for all contactless payments. Now you also have the convenience and security of Touch ID. And we've got a new chip called the Secure Element. 
and it's built into every iPhone 6, and it stores all of your payment information encrypted and securely. You can also see all of your credit cards on Passbook. Now, Apple Pay is easy, it's secure, and it's private. Let's get started with how easy it is. Now, we have hundreds of millions of credit cards and debit cards from customers in their iTunes store accounts. When they get a new iPhone 6, they can just say, use the card on file. But it's also easy to add a new card. You use your iPhone iSight camera, we take a picture of the card, gather all the information, go to your bank and verify that that's your card, and we add it right to Passbook. <laughs> and now, with just a touch, you've paid. It's that fast, it's that easy. Now, we've also integrated security throughout both the hardware and software in a way that only Apple can. So when you add a new credit card, we don't store the credit card number and we don't give it to the merchant. We create a device-only account number and we store it safely in the secure element. And each time you pay, we use a one-time payment number along with a dynamic security code. So you no longer have the static code in the back of your plastic card. And if your iPhone is lost or stolen, you can use Find My iPhone and suspend all of the payments from that device. And again, because the credit card isn't stored on the device, there's no need to cancel your credit card. <laughs> now, security is at the core of Apple Pay, but so is privacy. We are not in the business of collecting your data. And so when you go to a physical location and use Apple Pay, Apple doesn't know what you bought, where you bought it, or how much you paid for it. The transaction is between you, the merchant, and your bank. And the, <laughs> and the cashier doesn't get to see your name, credit card number, or security code like they do today when you hand them a plastic card. So Apple Pay, it's fast, it's secure, and it's private. Now we're starting in the US with credit cards and debit cards from the three major networks, American Express, MasterCard, and Visa. And we've got the six biggest issuing banks in the US, along with a few more. They add up for more than 80% of all credit card volume in the US, and we'll keep adding even more banks. Now you can use Apple Pay in the over 220,000 merchant locations that accept contactless payments today. But we've been working with some of the largest retailers to enable Apple Pay in all of their locations. The largest department store, Macy's and Bloomingdale's. The largest drug store, Walgreens and Duane Reed, with over 8,000 locations and 8 million visitors. Staples, the largest office products. Subway, with over 26,000 locations in the US. McDonald's with 27 million visitors every day, and McDonald's is even adding Apple Pay to its drive through <laughs> Whole Foods, the healthiest grocery store and leading provider of organic food. And our own Apple retail stores. <laughs> and Disney, the happiest place on Earth. <laughs> now, Disney is adding Apple Pay to all of their Disney stores and Disney World in time for Christmas. <laughs> and, and that's just some of the many retailers that are adding Apple Pay in all of their locations. But what about online? We want to make online purchasing just as fast, more secure, more private. There's over a billion dollars a day spent on online purchasing. That's five million daily transactions just in the US alone. And the process is really cumbersome. You got these long forms to fill out for each and every app that you shop in. Well, with Apple Pay, one touch checkout. There's no need to enter your credit card, your expiration date, your security code. You don't even have to enter your shipping or billing address. And none of your credit card information is shared with the merchant. We use the one-time payment number out of the secure element. Now we've been working with some great retailers like Target 
to enable Apple Pay into their shopping app. So I don't know about you, but I'm looking for some Beats headphones. <laughs> and now, with Apple Pay, you can just check out with a touch. And you see the credit card and the shipping address. And now, with one touch, I've bought it. It's that simple. Now, we're adding Groupon. Groupon is the leader of e-commerce, and they're incorporating Apple Pay right into their app. So now you can see a new deal and buy it with just a touch. Uber's got a new feature called Ride Now, so you can request a car using Apple Pay without the need to create an account at all. Panera lets you order your favorite sandwich or salad and have it ready for pickup with just a touch. MLB is adding the ability of buying tickets right in their app with Apple Pay. Our Apple stores where you can buy all of our latest products. And OpenTable. Now you use OpenTable to make dinner reservations. But in participating restaurants, you're going to be able to use Apple Pay in the OpenTable app to pay for your check. That's really cool. <laughs> and that's just some of the many apps that are incorporating Apple Pay. Now, in iOS 8, we have a new Apple Pay API that's going to be available to all developers, so we can expect a lot more apps. Apple Pay, it comes with every iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. We're launching in the US starting next month. It'll be available as a free update to iOS 8. And we're working hard to bring Apple Pay to even more countries. And that's Apple Pay. Thank you. Apple Pay will forever change the way all of us buy things.